Hey everybody, it's Carrie here, and there has been so much hype about this Epicure cheese maker that I had to pop on here and show you guys what this is all about. It's absolutely amazing. Epicure has launched a fresh cheese maker. That's right, you can make your own cheese at home and it's delicious. This is what I used to purchase. Anybody familiar with this product? Delicious! But expensive and there is a lot of ingredients in here so let me show you how you can make fresh cheese at home super quick super easy so this is the fresh cheese maker it comes in three parts you've got like the bowl you've got the lid and you've got the strainer so this little contraption is beautiful what you're gonna do is you're gonna put four cups of milk into the cheese maker and this can be any type it can be cow milk goat milk soy milk as long as there's a protein um almond or coconut won't work but any type of cow milk now i'm just using two percent regular two percent now you're going to take this and you're going to put this in the microwave for 12 to 14 minutes i do at least 14 minutes you really want it to be piping hot so i would say 14 even up to 16 minutes depending on the power of your microwave all right so that's been 14 minutes so you can see the steam coming up Next, you're gonna tap the edges. So make sure you tap the edges to release the milk from the edge. Very important. If your milk doesn't look like it's piping hot and steaming, you're gonna to wanna to do it longer. It has to be really, really hot to work. So then the next step is you're gonna add the acid. Um, and you do get this really cool card with it, which has all your easy to follow instructions. So you don't, uh, don't, be feel, don't feel you'll be left alone. You've got all the instructions that you need. So you're gonna add two tablespoons um, of vinegar. That's what I do, and I use white balsamic vinegar. I mean, you can use any vinegar. I just love the taste of this. Um, this is President's Choice. You can get our compliments. It's in the grocery store where all the other vinegars are. It's very inexpensive. White balsamic, I use it for all my dressings and all my cooking. So I'm gonna do two heaping tablespoons. So I do a little bit more. You're gonna stir it. And at this step, I'm gonna move the camera up so you guys can see it. You're actually going to see the cheese. Let me see if I can do this. All right, can you see that? So you're gonna see it separate and it's curding up the cheese. Isn't that cool? All right, so what we're gonna do now is just stir that up, set the timer um, on your phone and just let it sit on your counter for 30 minutes. You can also use lemon juice. So it just needs an acid, which can be vinegar or lemon juice. Um, I like to measure it out using my four in one spice spoon. Uh, this is a tablespoon teaspoon on the back is a half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon. The handiest little four in one measuring spoon, but you can also use the lid. They've measured out that one portion on the lid that you could just fill it there and then dump it in. So really, really handy tool. So lemon juice or vinegar, I personally use white balsamic okay so that's been 30 minutes so your next step is to take the little strainer that it comes with and to just strain it through there all right so you're gonna see here and just push push out all that whey some people keep this whey protein they put it in smoothies um, I throw mine out but some people keep it there's a lot of goodness in there so what you're gonna do is just push the cheese into the strainer to get all, rid of all that liquid. You're gonna see here, you're left with like a crumbly, almost like a ricotta cheese. Oh my gosh, so you could like stop right here and use this on top of salads or if you're doing any cooking that you want like a ricotta cheese, delicious. But what we're gonna do now that we've pushed all the liquid out is I'm going to put it back into here, all right? and you're going to add your seasoning and a little bit of salt. Okay, so as far as seasonings go, you can get super creative with this. You can add any Epicure seasoning. So imagine cheese and jalapeno, chipotle cheddar bacon, three onion. Um, I've even had one of our consultants use chocolate milk and she made chocolate cheese with a fudge sauce. I said it was to die for. My ultimate favorite to simulate the herb and spice bruzum cheese, I use Epicure herb and garlic. It's my ultimate favorite. So I'll do about a tablespoon of this. So using that same measuring spoon, 
and I do Epicure's Herb and Garlic Sea Salt. So you need at least about a half, um, half to one teaspoon of salt. Cheese needs salt. You'll need it for the flavor. So I do, I do about 15 grinds into the lid, which I've already done. And just pour it in. So herb, garlic, sea salt. You're gonna mix that up. So at this point, you've got that crumbly, delicious flavored cheese. So use that on your salads and your cooking. Or from here, press it into your strainer Put it in the fridge and let it set for a couple hours. But I have a little tip that I like to do. Before I press this into the strainer, I like to take my submersible blender and I like to blend the cheese a little bit so that it's creamy and it simulates the creaminess texture of this. So that's a little tip I would do is I would pulse it really quick just to kind of cream it a bit. Then I'm gonna press it into here and I'm gonna let it set into the fridge. Okay, so now I've used my submersible blender and you're gonna see here, now the cheese is more of like a creamy cheese. So I'm going to take it from there, pop it into the strainer, press it down, give it a good pack. Press it right down in there. Okay, once you've got that all packed in, you're gonna take it, you're gonna put it back into the cheese maker you're gonna pop the lid on, and the instructions say to let it sit for one hour in the fridge. I have found best results is at least two hours, and it's nice and firm. When it's done, we're gonna pull the strainer, and we're just gonna tap it down, and you're gonna have a wheel of cheese. Isn't that exciting? So stay tuned. Okay, so that's been a couple hours. Here we go. I pulled it out of the fridge, pop off the lid, grab your little basket, and you're going to kinda of give it a good, few bangs onto a flat surface and there you go look at that fresh wheel of cheese ah, amazing so if you want to make quick easy cheese at home you can do that with Epicure's new innovative crazy amazing cheese maker take care everyone